Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I have another layout using the Spencer's kit and I am down to my scrap and I want to use that Jilly Bean placemat as and to make a background and then I'm going to punch out a whole bunch of circles using my scraps and just cover the background. But I do want, um, I'm not going to make the circles so that they're the same size of the circles that are on the mat. I want them, most of them to have a sort of a mat themselves with the brown ink. So I'm using my Hero Arts Cup of Joe and a sponge and I'm going to cover the entire background with the circles. And this is a good example of what the Hero Arts ink does. When you first put it down, it's all splotchy and it actually looks kind of a big mess. But as it dries out, it smooths out and it does the same thing when you use a stamp. Uh, when you first stamp it out it's all splotchy and looks really not that great but as it dries it smooths right out and looks good and as I start gluing down the circles onto the on top of those brown circles you'll see how nice the ink becomes so I'm just going to do the entire page and I'm not being too careful because I know that I'm going to punch some circles and you know cover most of those inked up circles so what I did was I went through my whole stash of circle punches and grabbed punches that ranged from half an inch to two and a half inches and grabbed my scraps and just started going to town just punching out circles and it's a great way to use your scraps and it kind of showcases all the pattern papers too so I don't know how many more layouts I'm going to get done with the Spencer's kit. Maybe one, maybe two, and then I'm going to move on to the May kit, which I can't wait. This is layout 22 out of 50 for the Facebook challenge, and I have the link in the description if you'd like to join us. And basically what it is, is um, we kind of challenge each other to get 50 layouts done before you, you buy anything. and. It was very personal for everyone. For me, it, I started being a Studio Calico member and my purpose was to get the kits and just use the kits, but I was still purchasing from other regular stores online. And so for me, joining the 50 projects was so that I just got my Studio Calico kits and just worked with that. And it's been working really well for me. And this is round two for me. So this layout took me an hour and 37 minutes. And it is the 18th layout using the Spencer's kit. So at this point, this is where I'm going through the scraps that I have left and trying to find pieces of papers that were big enough to punch out each uh, circles that I needed. And I really like how bright this page is going to turn out because of all the different colors of the pattern paper and that placemat from the time I saw it I knew that I didn't want to use it as a background on my on my page but I wanted to use it as a mask so instead of putting it on my page I'm just going to keep it around and find different ways that I can you know use it on my pages so it did take me quite a few minutes to get, you know, all these circles punched out. Trying to figure out the sizes of the, you know, circles I needed and stuff. But it wasn't too, too bad. So today is July 20th and I'll be uploading this, um, layout today if it lets me do the voiceover this is the second time and the first time it wasn't even salvageable there was only two minutes recorded so it wasn't even worth taping from that moment on so hopefully this time it records and then I gotta process it and then upload it but I have usually on my days off what I end up doing is doing a whole bunch of layouts and then I have some ahead but um, I'm on a run of six, and actually it's six night shifts in a row. And tonight is night shift number four. So I've kind of used up all the pages that I had 
done up ahead of time. So I don't know if I'm going to be a few days without, you know, uploading um, a layout, but we'll see. We'll see what I can uh, manage to get done. So at this point, I've punched out all the circles that I want. I left a few of the circles, you know, in the just the brown so that it would add some contrast. And I'm going to take my quick dry adhesive and go to town and just glue all those circles down. And I, I prefer the quick dry adhesive over the, the ATG at this point because I find it so much faster. You just pick up, squeeze, and glue. Pick up, squeeze, and glue, and you're just done. Now I had cut two strips of that camera paper and I absolutely love that camera paper. And I'm glad I didn't use it as a background, but just going to use it, you know, on my pages because it's going to last a little longer. And at this point, up to this very instant, I didn't know which pictures I was going to use for this layout. And with all the brightness of the circles and stuff, I had a couple of pictures sitting on my desk that I've been wanting to scrap of my kids. And I believe it is at Universal Studios. It kind of looks kind of a ride that would be at Universal Studios. And um, so I, it just reminded me of the brightness of, you know, Disney and, and the parks that are in that area. And then whatever was left over, I just took that, took the rest and just flipped it over and used the other side of that Tim and Beck paper and put it to the right of that photo cluster. And then the journaling paper is actually the advertisement for Studio Calico's winter papers or Christmas papers. And on this other side is a journaling strip. So I'm going to use that for my journaling. I'm going through my die cuts. I picked up um, that Polaroid frame with the little arrow. I'm going to put it over the journaling. I'm going to do my journaling right inside. That little acetate that says you and me. I'm going to glue that right there. And then I chose a couple of buttons that came in this month's kit. One says token five value, which is appropriate for, you know, rides and stuff like that. And then the other one says good for one ride. So it's also appropriate for this kind of layout. I cut a doily in half. I put some at the top and bottom of the layout. And then I had a label that I had cut apart last or a tab for last layout and I didn't use it. So I stapled it to the right of the photo. And then I had a digital print that was all kinds of colors and I thought it was appropriate for this page and it's a circle it was a circle one so I just cut it in half and put it at the top right and the bottom right of that cluster and at this point I knew that I want to put extra things that were circular with the rest of the circle punch things so I took out some enamel dots some epoxy dots from close to my heart in the blue and in the green I'm going to take out some sequins in different colors and some buttons and just kind of add that to the background to add some interest and now I'm going to work on my title and I took out two Kelly Perky letter stickers one in white and one in red and then I took out I'm going to take out my thickers in the cork at first I think the black but everything is brown on the layout so I didn't want to use the black so I'm going to use that cork one which I really like and I'm going to put my title right there at the top of that little cluster and this is where I'm digging through some stuff that we had gotten a few months ago in one of the kits and I'm digging for the sequins and I'm going to glue them down with my quick dry adhesive And at that uh, big circle, I'm going to put a little flag that came in this month's kit. It was, or maybe it was last month. Anyway, it was left over from one of the kits. I believe it was last month. It was at Echo Park and it was, it had a few buttons on it and flags and stuff. And I'm going to put it on that circle with uh, a punch that, 
or stamped that I had punched out and it says love this with an enamel dot and I'm going to put some twine up there too and I'm going to put twine in three different clusters and some red twine and I'm just kind of balling it up and going to glue it down with my quick dry adhesive so now I'm taking two oh I guess I'm going to put down my title take a few minutes for that and the just in four is in right in red and the word time is in white and fun is in the cork letter now I'm going to take out my studio calico box and I'm going to cover my photos and then I'm going to ink up my page in two different colors in the brown and the red and if you want to see some close-up pictures of the layout you can go to two peas in a bucket and Studio Calico or the Facebook challenge and just look for Nicole Jones 911 and you can look at some close-ups. I guess at this point I'm going to glue down the buttons because buttons was another thing that I wanted to add on the page is circular like the I just want to keep that circular theme going on. So I'm going to use my crochet thread and even sew down that little flag too. And I really like that crochet thread because if you just use regular thread, if you want it to be thick, you have to keep going over and over, to, you know, till it looks thick. But with a crochet thread, one go around and it's it already looks like it's you know nice and and pronounced and, and and heavy like you can see the thread so I really like that so at this point I like I said I added some glimmer glaze and I added a few sequins from a kit that we had received a couple of months ago and I'm going to show you a few close-ups of the page and that's it. The page is done. So thanks for watching. Bye.